This will be the most people she's ever been out with. Yeah. And Jenny, I, I apologize, but this is probably going to be something that you're going to go for a few minutes and then say that this is worth it. Go back to the car. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying with all the cactus out here. So. Oh yeah, we gotta watch our step. There's lots of cactus. Is that cool to see her land on her, your husband's hand? Put in a long chase. Quite a ways away, but she's after something. So she probably didn't catch it. Nope, there she's up on a bush. Kids in this picture. Oh, it's trying to video. Let's go. Is the them? You see right here, they're coming our way. Yep, they're coming our way. Let's go. Let's go. Stevie, come here and have some water. Make sure we keep you. Okay. Yep. Too much, you had to get mama's hand. Here, look. Martin hawking with his son and grandson. Kind of cool. And Belle is awesome. She's being so good with other people. Mom, let's go to school. Oh, see me stay this way. There's Belle. Oh, it's my airway. On it. You Did okay? you slip? Okay. He tripped a little, but he's not falling. Hold up, Stevie's.
know. We're, we're well, I mean, great. you guys probably require more work because you have better videos than celebrity selfies. Here I am at the opening of <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I my friends, my, my friends always call me a celebrity. I'm like, okay, look. I wash, I clean my own bathrooms, <laughs> I do my own laundry, I fly coach. <laughs> I'm, I say I'm a TV personality, but I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> well, it's, it's been a little shocking to me that people have uh, got to get answers to questions. What was, where does the guy live in? Spain. Spain? Yeah. Yeah, we, we get uh, people writing this from all over the world asking, you know, wildlife rescue questions and falconry questions. And, I'm not surprised. Uh, yeah, we show videos from the Valencia Zoo in Spain, yeah. and I was in Valencia for a day, but we couldn't manage to connect. But I was going to go there because they have a really great zoo biopark there in Valencia. But there's one thing I always do when I travel. And I hope to get there before uh, uh, the golden hour tomorrow morning. They, I love going to botanical gardens in whatever city I'm in. So uh -huh. they have a free garden in St. George. So, and it was right around the corner from where I got the rental car, so I didn't even have to look at the map, so I know how to get there. Oh, good. So I can't wait to get some pictures from that. Look at this area. How this gorgeous. is the rabbit brush starting to bloom. Oh. Most yeah, people I, don't appreciate the rabbit brush. <laughs> I, I'm always a little bit concerned. I, I, Vigi does such a great job for us that people think I'm a lot more than I really am. Some people think I'm a, I'm a real expert or something. I'm just, I'm just not. But here's the thing, Martin, and I've seen all kinds of people with all kinds of conservation groups and everything in it. But with you, you are the real deal. This, this right here is male uh, pronghorn antelope, right here. She's standing on the ground. Yeah. She says she stopped. I'm gonna go look under a bush and see if anything's there. You come here. Oh, you're fine. But that's, that's male pronghorn antelope poop. Mm -hmm. That's for her. time our editors get done, you're going to be Jack Hanna, my friend. <laughs> well, I, think, I, I think it's because I respect that you care about the critters. You're, um, you guys are genuine, and that kind of sticks out to people, and I think that's why people reach out to you from Spain and around the world. We're just ordinary. Well, I'd like to say you're extraordinarily ordinary. Well, and you're nice, well. great folks that had me meet you at the house. But at the end of the day, you're kind of special to me and a lot of other people who value the critters and have no idea how to take care of them. Well, <laughs> except I except to not throw my trash out here. <laughs> I, I hope you accept a copy of my book because that that'll kind of enlighten you as to who I am. You have to let me pay for it. Oh, no, no, no. Because you're, like, hey, you're a businessman. If you want to make a donation, you can, but okay, no, I'll he wants to donation. give you a copy. Okay, that's, that's not to say about And actually, it's been uh, I do a lot of, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll be happy to take it out to the Fairwood Gap and just spend a few miles that way. Okay. And uh, take the Native American ground and some of the world's most uh, interesting headphones. Ooh, and, well, thank uh, you. I, I teach classes out there. Uh, and I have tour groups from all over the world come to uh, kind of wander the desert, look at the pepper and the dinosaur tracks, and 
and get to see my live raptors and stuff. Um, but uh, I've got six schools in Japan that bring their uh, their middle school and high school students out every year. Really? And, and um, they actually uh, purchase several copies of my book, and they use my book to, to teach their students English. Oh my! When do they visit? Uh, I've done three or four of them. I still have one or two more left to do uh, this fall. You know what's funny is I went to Japan as an exchange student when I was in high school. And you learn to speak? Oh, no. <laughs> but um, anytime there's any kind of Japanese organization or anything where I can volunteer to do something, I was like, it should have come when they were here. <laughs> but I like having Martin come up with Martin and Susan come up with And Belle. And then everything on this camera goes up to the cloud and DG has access to it. Yeah. So I don't know what, if there's going to be anything good or not good or whatever, but she's welcome to share anything on this with you guys. DG, if I don't give you anything to use, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be your fault. It'd be mine. I miss a lot of good stuff. <laughs> Did you say mine? Yeah. yeah basically, or Martin. They, they, start, they start off learning His. my words, my vocabulary. Oh, yeah. Bell. <laughs> Antelope rabbit. <laughs> so it's really, you know, it's funny. I live next to the Phoenix Mountain Preserve now, and the animals I see on a regular basis include, but are not limited to, quail, Jack rabbits, or little little white tail rabbits, maybe not jack rabbits. Probably cottontail. It's cottontail, but then there's some of them have like big ears. Those are jacks. And I was like, those are jack rabbits. And then uh, one one morning, I was walking with my dog, and over this iron bridge, I see three javelina, like the three Billy Goats gruff. And that's when I decided, you know, I'm gonna just turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Because that is a smell that you don't forget when <laughs> you get up close to Havelina. Really? Oops. No, I, I tell people all the time, you know, we need to raise about $10 million to, to get this Peter Tang Major Park completed. Uh-huh. If I can get my book to go viral, if I can sell a million copies of my book, we'll have the money to build the park. Oh. Yeah, we sold about 10,000 copies. Well, I guess I should start playing the lottery so I can chip in. Oop, that's fresh. Where's that little critter? <laughs> Listen to me, it's fresh. It's got to be one close by. <laughs> they run fast. <laughs> they do. The one thing, that's what I, walking through the fields in England, it's just like I cannot get over how many sheep pellets you can come across. There used to be a lot more sheep here than there are now. We still have, we have a sheep festival in October. Oh, do you? And yep, they, they run just, they used to run the sheep down the, the streets to get them back to their farms from the mountain right. pasture, but now most of them are tracked that they still do it with. But they have one big herd that they uh, run down Main Street for the sheep festival. And, uh, oops, there's a little ditch right here. And so that's coming up. Mm -hmm. Oops. I have no idea if I'm aiming good or not. <laughs> this smells. I wish people could understand how good it smells in here right now. It's sage and rabbit brush. Yeah, sage smells nice. Getting tickled, huh? Just miss, miss the action. And sorry, we missed it. 
pretty. She knows her. Signal that we're about done hunting and she gets, gets her breakfast. <laughs> and you toss food on the ground for her, don't you? When it's time for breakfast. Is that why she's Depends going? The situation. Is that why she's going to the ground so often lately? Yeah. But she, yeah, she says, "Oh, you're you're getting you're getting my food for me, my breakfast." <laughs> Why not? Oh, I know. I've got it to zoom. Okay. From behind me, take this and get the glove. Got it. There you go. Oh, there's one piece on the ground. That's okay. And I'm going to walk her over here and then we'll let her fly to you for, the, for her breakfast. Yes, sir. Right there. Make sure that I got this. There she comes. She says, You got my breakfast. I got your breakfast. Just what you want. There's still more. You know, she didn't even offer to share, <laughs> split it. Martin might have more if you want some. <laughs> I can share with you. <laughs> you haven't lived here, you nearly have one of those wings in your face. I know we're done, sweetie. We are done. It's like, let me make sure I'm on the right side. Martin told me. Uh, now, nothing. well, it's okay. <laughs> he's, he's done now and he's hooding her back up. Yeah. We're pretty good. Okay. Got me. Oh, let me get this. Yeah. Well, if you saw it, you could go chase it. <laughs> Boy, that would be one kind of video for you. Oh yes, it would. That would, that would fall be in like the first two feet. <laughs> That's what Bell does. And the ancients and, and some of these petroglyphs are as much as four thousand years old. And so they needed to know what day it was. See what looks like a big fan shaped object there on the wall? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the mathematical calculation for the movement of the moon. Now, this is actually an observatory. You go up to the wall, you turn right, and you look through that crack in the wall, and it focuses on the knob of the hill over, over there across the valley. Okay, the, the moon will rise full at that point in the sky every 18 years, six months. So that's the mathematical calculations to determine that. They said there'd be no math on this trip. Oh, uh, they <laughs> lied to you. And, and, and so basically that's the Earth core. And every time there is an earthquake or a volcano erupting, it's the god of fire trying to escape. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic myth that's, that's told by the, by the native peoples. Well, Tobat lives here, the creator of the Earth. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, everything works on lights, shadows, sunrise, sunsets, moonrise, moonsets, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And there's several stacks of rocks around the valley that you watch the sunrise and sunsets, and, and then you go to the calendar and it tells you what day it is. Well, there used to be right out here, there used to be a stack of rocks. Uh, this, this had a beautiful stream that came through here. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I first moved here, there was no road here. It was just, it was just a two-track uh, Jeep trail that went through here. There was no road. But there used to be a big stack, a big, a nice stack of rocks right, right in here. And if you stand on the stack of the rocks on the right day, now, um, come, come right here. And I want you to look, see where the, where the stroller is? Mm -hmm. Don't look any further than the stroller. And where the stroller is, I want you to look to the right, and you go up a rock wall, you see a horizontal slit? There's a nose and a mouth wow. and, and lips. The, and the chin and yes, the lips. Yes, I see it. And you can see where the eye is, and the light colored rock at the back of the head is this eagle feather. That's topaz. Thank you.